Hi, I'm Mark Sipp at Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss an outstanding example of New York State stoneware that we'll be selling in our July 18th auction. It's a brandy cooler. You can see the large inscription at the shoulder, brandy. Uh, handed sized with little accents throughout some of the lettering. Uh, it bears the maker's mark of Tyler and Dylan of Albany. And this mark was used, I believe, sometime around uh, 1825 to 1834. It involved potters Moses, Tyler, and Charles Dillon. Dillon would later use his own maker's mark shortly thereafter, sometime around 1835 uh, or 1836. Uh, but Tyler is one of the most well-known Albany potters, um, and one of the most well-respected. There's a handful of coolers uh, bearing different maker's marks of potteries that he was involved in that are, that are known. Um, and uh, one's in the Smithsonian, a very iconic piece that has a beehive on it and says H.J. across the top. Um, and that uh, bears the mark uh, of Moses Tyler when he wasn't involved with Charles Dillon. There's another one also in the Albany Institute of Art. Um, and there's a third that sold at auction many years ago and I believe sold privately. Um, so this is an exciting new offering. Um, it was found in the 1950s um, by the consigner's family in, in an attic in a period house in New York State. And it's been in that family ever since. You can see it has this wonderful incised fish decoration, one of the very best incised fish that we've ever seen on a piece of American stoneware. Um, it has great artistic appeal um, and it's, it also uh, is very folky. You can see that it has these stylized features that are, that are so appealing to folk art collectors. This scalloped edge tail that looks almost like a stylized flower blossom. And this interesting uh, veining throughout the body, simulating scales or perhaps the, the rib cage of the, of the uh, animal. Uh, heavily, heavily incised fins uh, at the base of the tail. And then, of course, the face, which is by far the best part of the animal, um, has this open mouth with the protruding tongue and teeth. And a few other uh, incised fish decorations from Albany, Albany, New York, have those really nice incised teeth, which are so desirable and create such a wonderful facial expression on the uh, fish. You can also see it has this sail-shaped fin, this really nicely done large eye, crescent moon-shaped gills, and uh, scoring throughout the face and the, uh, the base of the body. It's just a wonderful example. Um, in form and in decoration, and the origin is also very desirable. Um, Albany, New York was one of the great centers of stoneware production uh, in the 19th century uh, in the Northeast. And there's several famous makers from there, several very respected makers um, from there, and a lot of uh, the very finest in size work was done in Albany, New York. You can also see these nice blue banded highlights throughout, as well as this star-shaped decoration on the bungalow, which is very unusual. This is the only cooler uh, among the small body of Tyler coolers known uh, with that type of decoration decorating the bungalow. Uh, pieces like this are always very exciting to offer, um, not only because they're incredible works of art, but also their new discoveries. We really tried to have great new discoveries in every sale, and this sale has several of them. Um, but uh, to have a piece like this is great to add to the body of work known uh, from Albany, New York. It stands as, as one of Tyler's very best pieces known, and we're very excited to offer it in our upcoming